The Cold Rush Compact Cold Therapy System can be cold enough to seriously injure skin. Read the instructions which are located inside the unit, the instructions for the pad, and the labels on the device carefully before operating the Cold Rush Compact Therapy System. Instructions for use are available on www.oser.com. Do not plug unit into wall socket at this point. Fill reservoir with water to the indicated fill line. Add chopped or cubed ice to the reservoir up to the indicated fill line. Close the reservoir with handle in the open position, press lid firmly onto unit making certain that the lid is in full contact with the vessel and the seal is engaged. Then pull handle into the locked position. Attach the provided 12V power supply to DC power port, but do not plug into wall. Connect cold rush pad to hose extending from the device. To ensure proper connection, push couplings together until they snap into place. Apply insulation barrier over your skin in the area to be treated. Apply cold rush pad over insulation barrier. The cold rush pad should never be applied directly over your skin. Plug the provided 12V power supply to wall socket. To turn off the cold therapy device, unplug the power supply unit from wall socket. Always turn the cold therapy device off before disconnecting the cold rush pad or any hoses. To disconnect the hoses, press the release tabs on the coupling and pull the connectors apart. To open lid, press handle down to disengage lid seal, then lift to remove. Drain all of the water out of the cold therapy device after each use. Follow instructions before each use. Ensure that the power supply connector is properly inserted into port on unit and that the wall plug has power. Visually inspect pad to see if water is flowing. If water is flowing, check pad for pockets of trapped air. Gently massage the pad to help remove the trapped air. Once water flow appears to move freely through the pad, resume usage.
If no water is flowing, make certain the unit is properly filled. Refer to filling instructions. Check to ensure that the hose is not kinked or pinched by any object. Unplug device. Disconnect hose. Visually inspect to ensure coupling connectors are in the open position, and then reconnect hose. Snap or clicking sound indicates proper connection. Remove pad, towel dry, and then visually inspect pad. If a leak is detected, then the pad will need to be replaced. See warranty regarding pad replacement. Visually inspect to determine the location of the leak. Refer to limited warranty for damaged replacement requirements. If no leak is detected, it may be condensation.